sound check to see what we sound like what's up y'all welcome back to my channel for another video today i filmed a get ready with me um i'm not really doing much i'm just kind of hanging out around the house i feel like putting on makeup and cute clothes so maybe i'll go eat or something after this i don't know but um i have moved from reno to arizona i am in phoenix i'm on another assignment and i haven't filmed in a while so i want to come on show my face make sure y'all know i'm still here okay your girl is still with y'all i'm just working real hard i'm working day shift now so i'm hoping to have more time for filming and my youtube channel and etc um so with that being said if you want to see any specific videos let me know what you want to see i bought a few wigs i think my wig reviews seem to go kind of well so i might be reviewing this wig in a few days so far it's a no for me but it's still cute um it's from supernova and it's their 99j wig it was supposed to be like a curly texture, but it ended up coming like kinky curly and not exactly what I was looking for, but what can you do? It's already painful. So anywho, if you'd like to see the process of me putting on the wig, putting on my little quick beat, then continue watching. Once I got this on, we're gonna move on with the bottle cap. I'm gonna also slick down my little baby hair 
but y'all know I got a real funny hairline. Um, and it's always been like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just rub my little oil through my braids and prep for my ball cap. All right, now I'm gonna take some of my Bow Hold Skin Protect. We're just gonna put that on the hairline because I feel like when I leave my wings on for too long, I start getting those little bumps. So just to protect the hair, I'm gonna take this and kind of like pat it in. I'm just using a cotton swab or a cotton round, whatever you want to call it. But do whatever works for you and your routine if you wear wigs. So this is just my first little cap I'm put on. I'm gonna take my braids out this little ponytail and just flip them up under here. Here, I'll do. Just like this, you can make it nice and flat. You don't have to do this. You don't got to do all of this. This is just what I be doing when I want to switch my wigs out. I need one to kind of hold my braids in place. And then I'm going to put on a lighter cap and do some color correction to fit my skin tone. And that's how I do my ball cap method. All right, so I'm gonna start installing my wig today with the Boho Liquid Gold again. I just got a little tube doing it, applying one section at a time. I'm gonna start with my middle. And then I'm gonna take my comb and just try to comb this into that adhesive. I have not done anything to this wig. This is straight out the box. It could probably be bleached as far as the knots go and plugs a little bit more, but I just plan on wearing this for like a day or two. So. So we tack down, I'm gonna take some of where I'll do my baby hair and part it off. And then I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes. As you can see, I didn't get the hair far enough down on my ball cap, but that's fine because it's gonna be covered up with some baby hair. So I'm just gonna take it like this. And I don't really do baby hair all around my hairline normally, so I'm gonna just take where I would normally do it. Still haven't cut off my ear tabs. Sometimes I do it last minute, but it just depends. Okay. Okay, put 
this part in the ponytail to get out the way. Then take whatever hairspray you use, mousse, whatever you want to use, and spray right on this, and we're going to let that sit for a bit. All right, y'all, so off camera, I have done my baby hair, cut my lace, put some water and some mousse on the hair because this hair is big, okay? Um, my camera keep dying. I don't know why. I'm probably going to have to buy a second battery, and I ain't happy about that, but whatever. Um, I'm going to move back on to my lips now that I've gotten my hair done. I'm taking these lipsticks from, this is called Proper Beauty. I'm taking these lipsticks. I'm taking Empower and Finesse, and I'm going to line and fill in my lips with that. Empower is like this deep chocolate brown color. It's so cute. This gives me like a 90s vibe. And then I'm going to take Finesse in the center because I just can't get over like ombre lips. I'm going to put this in the center. All right, and I'm probably going to have to fix around the hairline. It's probably a little ashy. We're just going to put some makeup around there. I'm going to take my sponge, whatever is left on there. I'm just going to kind of try to get rid of that line of demarcation. All right, I want to put on some gloss today, even though I'm going to take it off when I put on my mask. Um, but I'm using this K-Browser Beauty Bar Lip Gloss. I think this is nudish is what it's called. This is a black-owned company. I've been using a lot more uh, black-owned business products in my like makeup routine. So my lipstick, my Proper Beauty, um, my lip gloss that I put on to kind of moisturize my lips. That is from another black-owned business called It's a Sure Thing, where they make like self-defense products. And now this is another YouTuber, and she's also started her own uh, beauty business for lashes and gloss. So I'm just going to top this off with that. It's real subtle, but it's super cute. All right, y'all, so this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I have moved outside. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful here. Oh my God, so beautiful. Um, I'm probably gonna go get some food or something with my roommate. And until my next video, I will see you guys then.